We know in a normal, healthy airway, it stays patent all night. During sleep, the muscles relax, but the airway is open. And we know in a patient that suffers from obstructive sleep apnea, early in the literature, they talked about the collapse at the velopharynx. And as I alluded to earlier, we now know based on the STAR trial and others that we can have multi-dimensional collapse of the airway throughout the night. SAO2 is, it would uh, involve a vena puncture for arterial O2 values. We're looking at SPO2. And in this particular situation, it drops down to 70% and at 70%, that is not compatible with life.